last movie I watched at home was? Um. The original Planet of the Apes. Ted Bundy tapes. Ugh. Mine was Avengers Infinity War. Last movie I watched was Free Solo, a documentary about the guy that cl climbed El Capitan. Crazy. Ferris What's Bueller, yours? Christmas oh, Story, um, Back Good to the Fellas, Future, uh, King of Comedy, Ghostbusters. I love Coming to America. I love Boomerang. I live in Paris, and so every time we come back to from the United States, we watch Ratatouille. I watch 2001 a lot. My wife and I have memorized Out of Africa, pretty much. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is something that I watch basically every time it's on, and I try to watch every Thanksgiving. The Murder on the Orient Express with mm. Albert Finney. I'll watch Sister Act. At any point. <laughs> At um, any point. I watch or rewatch a lot of movies. <laughs> if I have it the way I want it, quiet. You know, I like to watch movies by myself. I'm real easy to please. I would like my family. Sure. Um, the movie. Oh god, snack. Mmm. I love popcorn, but uh, nachos are like pretty much my favorite food in the whole world. A big ice water and some peanuts. My wife needs blankets around her. She likes to be toasty warm. We did get one of those like Brookstone foot massagers. You have to. It's a little loud, but it's fine <laughs> if you put a blanket over it. I like <clears throat> pajamas. I like to have beer. And I like to have pizza. Well, popcorn. Anything. No, oh, popcorn, okay. but I like to put um, uh, chocolate covered peanuts in my popcorn. Oh, that's interesting. So that's like a fun it. fact. Savory and salty. Ooh, you know, but I remember seeing the like behind the scenes sort of thing about when they made The Exorcist, and I just, just could not get enough. This authenticity and real and behind the curtain stuff is always fun to see. How did they do it? Director's commentary is fun because, you know, it gives you perspective. Especially if you have any hopes or wishes to become a director. I kind of like seeing deleted scenes. I'm always interested in that. As a filmmaker, I'm always like, yeah, let's get into it. Like, let's see what they, uh, what they kept on the cutting room floor. But they liked it enough to put it on the DVD. It's action-packed, first of all. Just like the first one, it's it's nonstop from the moment the movie starts. The kids will love the adorable animals and the goofy stuff they're doing, but then for the adults are like, oh my God, I do that. This is like, it, it really speaks to all those different levels. And I, I think also the comedy is, um, it's not like made for children. I actually think it's really important to expose your kids to like really smart, funny uh, humor also, on top of like all the good messaging. Humor that doesn't pander to children yeah. is fantastic, and that's what this is, yeah. is fantastic. When you go and you see a family movie, you can only hope that it's something that you and your family can not just enjoy, but take something away from. Um, I think this movie gives you that. It's got a heart, it's got stories, it's got uh, visual humor, verbal humor. It's really made for everyone, which means that yeah. it's like a, I don't know, it's a, it's a home run. Thank you.